So let's think now about what sort of support there is for uh, your own well-being. And we can sort of divide this into two different routes. You've got what the company will supply in order to, or what your own company will supply in order to support your well-being. And then you've got the responsibility that you can take for your own self, regardless to what the company is supplying. So first of all, it's really important to know what company resources are out there. I would say that most companies nowadays do have mental health first aiders, so do seek those out. They're very well trained, I know. Uh, and uh, they may also have an EAP program uh, and various other types of, of, of initiatives and programs that are in place. Some even have individual counseling, counseling available for their employees. So it's important to know what your company is supplying for you and take advantage of what these are. But the other support for your well-being is stuff that you can take ownership for yourself. Um, so first of all, you can make sure you're always being kind to yourself. That's one of the key rules of, of remaining happy. Happy. Don't judge yourself, just, just do know that you're doing the best that you can. But in terms of general well-being, um, we know that getting good sleep uh, is uh, part of self-care. And uh, when I talk about sleep, I, of course, it's really difficult to sit and say, yeah, you're going to go and get yourself eight hours. But there are certain things that you can do to make sure the quality of your sleep is better. So, for example, not uh, not being on apps, not being on iPhones or um, or uh, iPads technology uh, for at least an hour before you go to bed will help your brain start shutting down. So and also avoiding caffeinated drinks or too much alcohol before you go to sleep will also enhance your sleep quality. Other forms of self-care are, of course, um, exercise. We know that exercise is invaluable for two reasons. One, because you will actually uh, get the endorphin release. Uh, Two, because it keeps you um, feeling better as a result of that. But actually, what's new evidence now is to show that when you exercise, you actually increase the blood flow to the uh, posterior part of your brain, the limbic system, which controls your emotions. And actually, if you listen to a podcast at the same time that you're exercising, you increase that blood flow even further. So there is now some really good physiological reasons as to why you should exercise, as, as, as well as just the fact that it keeps you fitter. So good sleep, good exercise, eating well, eating healthily is a good form of self-care. Making sure that you ask for help is another key thing about self-care. You don't have to man up. There's a, there's a crazy culture around the place that says, I can get through this by myself, or it, there's a stigma attached to mental health. So it's really important you talk to people and ask for help is a form of well-being. And of course, we talk mindfulness. Now, mindfulness, uh, a lot of people think is like meditation, and I can't meditate, I you know, and I can't meditate, absolutely for sure. It's a really disciplined thing. But for me, mindfulness is just when your mind is just so occupied in the task that you... Uh, uh, actually forget about all the other thoughts and things that are going on around your head. So it could be going for walks, spending time with nature, cooking, gardening, reading a book, listening to music. For me, it's definitely spending time with, with my dog um, because my partner gets on my nerves. Just kidding. Um, and uh, it's just it could also be a really meaning meaningless task or trivial task like cleaning out your wardrobes or cleaning out your cupboards or stuffing letters into envelopes. The important thing about doing these sort of tasks or something that you enjoy more is the fact that you're so busy doing it, you get a chance to rest your brain from all the thoughts that are giving you stress. So here are some ideas I hope that I've now given you in terms of what you can do for yourself, as well as what your company will supply for you in order to try and get that support for your well-being and making sure you keep yourself as mentally robust as possible.